Hey everybody, and welcome to episode 34 of Anime on Draft. Uh, this is your host. I, I guess my name is Dreyfus now. Um, Dreyfus. Yeah. That's that's Uncle what we Dreyfus. decided. I guess I'm a middle aged woman who is a Jewish and act on Seinfeld. So mm. that's that's me now. Um, I'm joined by um, two other people who you guys should know. Uh, Rowan Dad. Hi, Dad. Oh. And Alico. Oh. Oh, hello. 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 So, hello. yeah. That's oh, that's us that. now. That's us now. Um, we got a jam-packed episode for you today. Uh, talking about a lot of our same anime. We got Shokugeki. We actually had an OVA of MMO Junkie, which was tonight. And then um, A Little Sister is All You Need. And joining or accompanying those episodes is our beer of the week, which is the Warsteiner German Pilsner, a premium beer. Okay, hand emoji. Premium. Okay, hand emoji. Mm. So uh, let's jump right into it, guys. Um, Rolanda, you picked the Warsteiner. Um, what, uh, what influenced your pick? Yeah, that's a couple German beers from you uh, this time around. Yeah, had him on. So when I picked the other beer, I saw this and I ended up buying it too. So, mm. nice. I happen nice. to be in the same aisle because the last beer I picked are. was German, and there we go. And here we are. Yeah. Here we are. Wow. So uh, take a take a swig, gentlemen, and uh, I guess Alex, start us off. Uh, what are what are your initial impressions of this guy? Looks like a beer. Smells like. Uh, <laughs> yeah. Looks like a pills. Smells like a pills. Must be a pills. It also looks and smells like a beer. Um, I, I would hope. I mean, it is a beer. Yeah. Yeah, it, that that's true. Um, I mean, it's a really nice color, like a really pretty gold, gold wheaty color. The head on mine disappeared, but I also poured mediumly cold beer into a cold cup at a harsh, terrible angle. So yeah. it just kind of exploded with head and then yeah. dissipated. But it's still got a small layer at the top, and it's a nice, like, stark white color. Um, smells good. Yeah, it smells. It smells great. To Tastes me. really I mean, good too. Mm-hmm. Cla- classic, classic Pilsner. I mean, this this malt company flavor. it says has been around since 1753. Mm-hmm. So I think they have uh, mastered the pills at this mm-hmm. at this point. Yeah, it's pretty uh, much like what you expect. <laughs> Yeah, it tastes like well, a classic pilsner. Yeah, mm-hmm. I, I'm gonna refreshing. go out on a limb and probably say like most pilsners are based off of this. I mean, if they've been making it for that long, you know what I mean. Mm-hmm. And it's German, so it's it's the good. bottle somewhere says, "What does it say? Find your past or something like that." It says it on t- on the top of the. God dang it! Where'd it go? Anyways. Find your past, guys. Find your past. Okay. Uh, 4.8% alcohol by volume. Pretty standard. Um, Yeah, standard session Pilsner. Um, Although, kind of drinking this, I don't know if I would want to session this because it's like, it's a little more classy than a classic, I don't know, session beer. And I can see myself getting kind of tired of the flavor after a while because it's just like wheat and... Bit, like I think a uh, bit of malt. I could see myself having a couple like, you know, when you go to an Oktoberfest, those really big cups, really big yeah. glasses. I forget. Like, I could have like two or three of those of this yeah, and be yeah. pretty content. And the flavor kind of like, gets, hell yeah. The flavor kind of <laughs> gets old for me. Like, I, I don't want to be sound snobby, but I've like kind of evolved from the flavor of a Pilsner. Like, I would much rather drink something with a little bit more bite to it, a little bit more spiciness. Um, so like for me, it's like the flavor gets a little bit old. Um, I don't know like what you guys kind of think about that. Um, I guess I'm unevolved cause I like this a lot. Yeah. <laughs> and I, I, for what it is, I'm not really craving anything more out of it. Um, this is definitely, I feel like this would definitely be really good in the summer. Yeah. It's nice and light and refreshing. Even in like October, I think it would still be good because it's got that kind of like malty 
Belgian flavor that I just like when I'm like at an Oktoberfest. It's got the nice color. It's not heavy on the stomach. Um, and it's got like a mild bitter aftertaste, which kind of keeps your palate feeling like kind of cleansed, I guess you could say. Um, rather than like a sweet flavor where it's like yeah. sticks on your tongue. Um, so I, that's kind of where I'm at with this one. Real just solid. For, just for me, it just, get, it, it just gets a little bit boring after a while because it's, it's basic flavors. Like you said, wheat, malt. That's about it. It's not yeah. bad. Classic. I'm just, I'm just, I'm just saying, it just like it gets, it gets boring. I mean, it for me, I feel like it's that classic pilsner taste, and um, like I, I think I've said it before with the was it the choc- the Zumbar chocolate stout. Um, Zumbar. Less is more in certain cases, and I think if this is like you say, the pilsner that everyone else emulates. Um, it, I mean, there's a reason why, and it's very right. simple. The flavor is very kind of crisp. It's not like too sweet, like, um, Alex said, but it's also refreshing. It's kind of like the, like the crispness and it's like really dry. Like all of that kind of makes you want to drink it on a, on like a, either hot summer day or even like kind of like a humid, um, warm day. I feel like it would be kind of refreshing just because it's so dry. Um, and it's honestly just a simple flavor. Like, do we know how much alcohol is in this? 4.8%. Yeah. And I mean, 4.8%, that's pretty standard. Um, you're not gonna, you know, down a lot of these and be too drunk but i mean it's still you know like a decent amount so that you can session it so i mean have a good buzz i think it's good um and it's definitely like uh one i'm gonna come back to for sure Mm -hmm. i'll come back to it that's for me i can take it or leave it for me but I don't know. You, everybody knows I li- I like the IPAs. I just I want like a little bit more complexity and flavors, but that's it's just, it's just a preference. Like if it, like I would drink this beer again. Like if it was there, I would I would drink it. It's absolutely a good beer to drink. But if I'm going out and buying something, I just I want something a little bit a little bit more. Um, unless stouts, I'm not not stouts. Um, Talk about complex flavors, man. Well, I mean, the, the, you know, stouts have good complex flavor, but I, I'm looking for more of the uh, orange peel, disgusting, bitter IPA. That's that's what I'm about. So. <laughs> disgusting, disgusting. <laughs> yeah, it's it's so disgusting that it tastes delicious. Like that's that's okay hand emoji for me. But uh, anyway, uh, Rolando, you picked it. Uh, what are you thinking for your rating? Um, I think it's good. It's classic pilsner taste there's not really much to it it's very simple crisp refreshing so i'm gonna go with like a three and a half cool alec um yeah i mean i think i'd probably go about the same three and a half is uh pretty solid and i would definitely drink it again cool cool um for me i'm thinking like around a three um I like it. I would drink it if it was available. Probably wouldn't go out of my way to buy it again, but if it was made available for me, I would definitely do it. Um, so yeah, uh, about a three for me. Um, but good beer. I, I recommend it for, especially for people. And we, we kind of always come back to this, but especially for people who are not big beer drinkers, this is like a good like. If you want to know what a pilsner tastes like. This is the go-to. Like, this is probably what a lot of pilsners are based off of. So, highly, highly recommended for that. So, cool. Yeah. Cool. Yeah. It's yeah. definitely delicious. Yeah, so good. Magically delicious. Wow. Um, <laughs> let's get into anime. Um, just as a side note, uh, we all watched uh, Love is Like a Cocktail this week, and there wasn't much going on with that. 
we just kind of get backstory for our characters, which is kind of stupid in my opinion for a three minute show. Um, I don't know what you guys thought of it. I mean, it was, it was cute. It was fine. No drinks though. I was disappointed, especially after that Shandy gap, which we all are fucking about. That is, that is fucking delicious. Like, you don't care about do her that. first time? No. Yeah, having her a first drink. time, dude. No. It wasn't even, it wasn't even that. It was her first time going into a bar. She had short yeah. hair. I'm not about, I'm not about it. I like the long hair. She still took off her glasses. I guess that's, that's the most, that's, most recent yeah. episode. I mean. After she had her first drink. Oh, no, would you, that's you guys, for another day. Any, anything else you guys kind of think of this episode? Other than it was random. I hope they would at least like show something with the little lemon guy ingredients wise. And they did. Yeah, I, I mean, like, they, oh. they could have had a drink. Like she could have got in there, had a drink real quick. Like had some know. grapefruit juice with lemon. <laughs> Get seduced and then uh, shady things happen. You know? Yeah. She falls asleep and wakes up and he's magically across the room okay <laughs> all right all sure. right all right whatever <laughs> we're yeah. to anything dad no no so let's uh kind of jump into more substantial shows uh we had shokugeki um we had the kind of resolution uh between uh ryu and um mike tyson and just kind of set, setting up for kind of the last episode where we have uh, Soma doing a, like, seems like an unofficial Shokugeki versus uh, White Knight, bro. Uh, Rolando, uh, what do you what do you think of this episode? Did you like it? Do you think it was just kind of filler or what are you, what are you thinking about it? Um, I mean, it felt like filler because it was just like kind of the interlude into the final conflict for the arc. And um, I know how this season's going to end just by how it's going. Mm -hmm. Um, So I know I have a rough idea what's going to happen. They're kind of like setting the pieces in place for it, especially since now everyone is hiding from them with their whole like impromptu shokugeki going on. Well, but, go go ahead, go ahead and say what you think, and I'll and I'll kind of say what what I'm thinking about it because I I think we're gonna end up agreeing on it. Okay. Well, my opinion is we're gonna have a revelation where Arina finds out who Soma's dad is because mm-hmm. it's been obvious for the whole season, especially with the opening. Dick. And then, um, <laughs> and then we're gonna have. Um, I just have this feeling that Soma is going to lose and then that's when it's going to drive the next arc. And so he has to figure out how to fight back against Central from within or something. So it's going to be like a yeah. certain conflict there. That's like, that's exactly what I was going to say. Like, there's no way he wins, right? There's no like, way he wins. Not not at this point. Not right now. No. Yeah. There's going to be some weird thing that happens where someone calls off the shokugeki mid shokugeki and then they have to settle it later <laughs> they can't i don't, I don't think that's that. gonna happen like <laughs> i i think i think he's i think he's they gonna straight totally up lose and he's gonna be devastated and he's gonna have to work in the next season kind of finding out like how to beat central from within um, no straight up well, cancel it gonna, mid fight they're gonna like part of the conflict I think is going to be, they're going to send him to fight against some of the clubs. Mm-hmm, mm-hmm. And that's going to be kind of the, kind of the thing. So then what about his dad saying never lose to Shokugeki until I mean, he's, he's already, not, he's not going to lose. Like. No, he, he technically didn't lose that one Shokugeki. They had the little side thing. If this were Shokugeki rules, he would have won. Well, no, that was the <laughs> fall elections, but the there was the one that he technically lost because he was the the sous chef for, um, what what's her name, uh, Megumi? Yeah. When they did the Shokugeki the against hotels. Shinomiya. Yeah. So he's technically <laughs> lost that one. Yeah, and he was. But that wasn't that. his Shokugeki. There's no. Yes, okay, was, I'm he, just gonna say so there's no it. there's no way that Tsukasa loses. No, the first seat, like absolutely uh, dude, not. At they're least gonna call it way. off. 
They're not gonna call Bam. It call it off. I mean, and they can call like, it off. The That's the only it's other rigged. option. They can either call yeah. it off or Soma loses. Or he, and he's it's gonna rigged. lose. He, he's gonna lose. He's, he's, I think he, he's gonna lose. He, because that, that, like, if I'm an author. That's exactly what I'm going to do. I'm going to say he's going to lose here, and that creates a, an, a, an awesome conflict for the next season. And obviously he's going to get <clears> out of it. Like He's, he's, he's going to figure out a way to get out of that situation, but it, he, he's got to lose, right? Like, If they find a way to, to call it off, it's going to be weird. <laughs> I'm yeah. just going to say it's kind of like a weird plot point. I think what's going to happen is... Um, yeah, Irena's dad's gonna come in. He's like, "Oh, what are you guys doing in here? Having a show Kageki? Let me judge this." And then uh, Irena will end up judging it, and like Megami will end up judging it or something. And they'll like be like, "Well, you know, Sukasa, your food is like way better. Your respect for ingredients, you know, all that shit, like execution, everything." He's a he's two years he's like at least two years older than Soma. He's had all that training, and he's the number one seed. Or the number one seat, whereas Soma couldn't even beat um, what's Kuma Bear's name um, from Polar Star. The, he couldn't even beat him, and he like it wasn't even close. And that was like six months ago. So there, there's no way. Like there's no way he wins. So, well, I, I mean, think <laughs> the the one way Alex um, scenario works is if um, like maybe Soma does lose or. Like Skasa like tries his dish and then go and like realizes like his potential and all that mm-hmm. and then like decides not to bring him on or whatever and be like no it would be a waste or something to <clears throat> of your skills to be. I was gonna say something right man. like that might happen, but um. But he's super. He's super selfish. Well, like that's what, that's what we saw. <laughs> like yeah. he's like you're gonna come and make my cooking better and someone's like. That's super selfish. He's like, oh, fuck, I know. Like, uh. So, at the end of the yeah. day, he's worried He's worried about his cooking more than anybody else's. Like, he, I think he well, can kind of care less about Central. He can kind of care less about what everybody else is doing. He just cares about improving his craft. And, like, if right. his goals align with Central's, he's, like, cool with that, you know? Right now, they have mm-hmm. three girls to judge. So, there's Hisako, Arina, and Megumi. They're going to judge, and then all of a sudden, Rindo is going to come out and then oh. make it a tie. Boom. There you, that, Alex's that prediction work too. wins. That, that would work, too. And, and we know we know Rindo is like super involved like behind the scenes. We actually I haven't see ever, something ever seen for her cook. neither outcome happening. I see it more likely than him just becoming part of Central. I don't know why, but just with the way the show tends to be. Like, <coughs> oh, oh, he's choking. <coughs> Oh, Jasmine. Oh, the Jasmine. Oh, the Jasmine. Oh, oh he's I'm getting okay. choked out. I'm okay. He's getting I forgot how to drink. I forgot how to drink. He's getting choked We're out good. by it's the Jasmine. By the Jasmine. <laughs> We're, good. Jasmine. We're good lads. We're good lads. <laughs> um, either way, I think this is a good setup episode. Would you, would you guys yeah. kind of agree with that? Mm-hmm. Yeah. Lots of ways it could go, sort of. The sad part about this is, is we found out that this is the the next episode is the last episode of the season. We were hoping uh, mm-hmm. for twenty four episodes, but uh, no dice. We're gonna have to wait. I think till summer season is when the next twelve episodes will air. So I heard it was kind spring. of a disappointment. So is it? Oh, I, so we that, only have like better. one season in between if it is spring. If it comes out in spring, dude, spring is going to be fucking ridiculous. Like, Attack on Titan, um, I think Sword Art Online is in spring. Like, this, um, and there's there's like a couple others that are coming out in spring. The spring season is going to be out of control. Oh, the Steins Gate Zero. Sequels. The season Steins of Gate sequels. Zero. Yeah, oh, it's going to be mm. so good. I, I can't wait for spring, boys. It's it's going to be tonight. Boyos. We're not we're not we're not going to have enough time to like cover everything. It's going to be so sick. No. Spring with the boyos. With the boyos. Yeah. With the boys. Um, any any kind of last thoughts about this before uh, we move on? Nah. It'll be cool. It'll be yeah. okay hand. It'll be It'll okay, be okay hand. hand. Not yeah. emoji. Not emoji. Okay hand. Yeah. Exactly. Yeah. 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 Um, let's move on. Jump into our little happy hour segment. Um, we have a little sister. 
is all you need. Um, Alec, what did uh, you think of this episode? Uh, so I'm trying to remember what happened in this episode because I watched the most recent one and now I'm squishing the two up. Is the the last one where they played that like? Oh Once no! Upon it, a time. Wait, is it? Once upon a time is the most recent. Yeah. Once upon. By the a way, time. I bought that game, so we're gonna play it. Oh, that sounds dope. Wait, what's it called? Once, Once upon, upon a time. time. From Little Sister. Yes. Yep. I thought there was a lack of problems is all you need, and a protagonist being a pro- the protagonist is all you need. Yes, that's the episode. Oh. Oh. Okay. Um, yeah, no, I did watch that one. Um, so I liked the, (laughs) my favorite part about the, that was the one with the board game, right? Yeah. I liked the story they came up with. It was very odd. And then, um, the reveal at the end was, um, rather deep, I must say, Yeah. uh, that when he was talking about how he likes her, but Mm -hmm. like his reasons for not wanting to go forward were like really profound. And I thought they were going to come up with some kind of cop out. And I was like, wow, damn, they really actually made this but like, real and he's like i don't want to be some side character in her story that is her life i want to be the protagonist i was like holy shit bro that kind of like ties in with like what was it like the second episode where they showed him reading her novel and then mm-hmm. he like turns her down and crying yeah yeah yep. so it's like it it makes sense why he turned her it down. does yeah well, and he and he yeah. knows like she is like exponentially better than all of their friends, like all his author friends and stuff like that. She yeah. is just like it's because cream she the writes crop. naked, and they don't. <laughs> yeah, and she gets where power by sleeping From, naked on lap <laughs> on a naked woman's lap. That okay? That's the other thing that cracked me up about this episode is she's like, "Hey, can I come over?" And the lady's like, and and she's like, oh yeah, sure, come on over. And she comes over and she's like, hey, take off Get your clothes. Naked. And she's like, Get okay. Naked. And she just fucking does it. She's just like, all right, oh you. And so they're just standing there naked, and like it's nothing. I'm like, geez, she's been she's been turned over. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Turned a, that's over with the three three meter penis. <laughs> oh yeah. Uh, I guess like before we get more, <laughs> I guess before we get more into the profound stuff, uh, I just want to mention. The main character in that story or in that game, Once Upon a Time, was killing people with his dick. Yes. Mm-hmm. Yes. Which he could also use like a whip and attach to trees and like <laughs> swing around like a monkey. And, and and he could just will it. And he beat a huge the penis master. A huge penis master <laughs> with two three meter penises. With two three meter penises. So. And, <laughs> and he killed his editor, who is also apparently a titan. With his dick. Yes. Yeah. With his dick. <laughs> yes. And he uses and his, then he the uses best. his penis like a three dimensional gear and just like flies through the trees. <laughs> and then the fucking the best part at the end is she fucking turns it and just goes. And then the, they he forgave the witch and made her his second wife and they lived happily ever after. <laughs> <laughs> He's got like a huge fucking boner under his yeah, covers just, like. <laughs> I was waiting for <laughs> her to like story. like sneak in a little like and then he met this other girl that was his best friend from school <laughs> and she became his third wife. Oh my god. And then it's just a giant harem. But you you bought that game, Rolando. I, I mean did. that game looks sick. That game yeah. looks, it looks fucking fun. sick. We'll play I, it. Where'd be, you find it? That'd I be a found good it on Amazon. Game. What's the uh, they played another game that looked fun too. Which one? Uh, because I was looking at all of them. All the games the, they play are tight. Like the pre, not it wasn't. It was like a. It had cards in it. It was um, crap. Oh shoot, which one was it? It was the the like four episodes ago. Was it the cat um, and chocolate? Yeah, yeah, that one. That one looked fun. Yeah, I was gonna buy <laughs> that, like to, yeah. but I think it was not in English, so I didn't buy it. Oh, okay. Well, that would be difficult. Yeah. That's it. that's one of the things I really like about this show. Like it has like all these like cool board games that like we enjoy because we're also a bunch of board game nerds. Um, and they're like actually legitimate board games. Like you can go out and buy these games. Um, also, they also reference like great beers. Like maybe they don't necessarily <coughs> describe them the best way as we talked about uh, with like that coffee stout, but uh, or the coffee chocolate stout or whatever it was, but. Those are real beers. You can go out and buy them, like super legit. So this this show is so sick. Like I I, yeah. I love this show. It's actually really 
surprisingly better than I expected because yeah. it's like pretty well balanced where it's not just like a comedy. Like um, what was that well, show last season that we watched where it was just like, yeah, it's just funny. Yeah. Ugh, like the, the nice thing about it is like it, it tricks you because you think it's just going to be a typical comedy. And I mean, if you watched um, Hen Neko, then you're mm-hmm. kind of like thinking like, oh, it's just going to be like some etchy comedy. But yeah. it surprisingly, the plot, ha- like everything has a reason it for thickens. it behind it. And you kind of see how it all connects. And so mm-hmm. it's kind of refreshing that it's, I guess, done, like written well. Well, think it, think about how the way it starts. Like the way it starts is absolutely ridiculous. That whole <laughs> that whole yeah. scene with little sisters and all that shit. And you're like, oh god, what am I getting myself into? Fast forward now to this episode where they're having the conversation about why he loves or why he likes uh, uh, Nayu, and like the deepness within that. He's like, I I I do like her. I do want to marry her, but at the end of the day, I don't want to just be this this random author who's also in the industry with her, this no named guy who gets together with her and lives happily ever after. I want to make a name for myself. So it's like, Oh, Nayu and Itsuki are together and they're, you know, they're like happy and all couple. this stuff. Yeah, exactly. So it's, it's not just Power like couple. some, some random <clears throat> dude. And I, and I respect that. That's, that's a super realistic and awesome goal to strive for. Um, and you know, I respect him for that. That's, that's, that's awesome. That's what everybody should strive for. You shouldn't just want to be this no name guy who goes along with the crowd and is maybe like a little bit successful. You want to be the pinnacle of success, especially in that industry. Um, so I, like I said, I, I love the show. I just um, want a sugar mama. Oh well, yeah, you I do. Mean, I mean, that's, <laughs> <laughs> that's fine. You know, go, Play video go for games that. all day. I want to be uh, like, um, for the guy from a cocktail, life is like a cocktail. All I gotta stay do at home is dad. work at a bar, You're be hot, home dad. and make food. Yeah, dude, that's the life, right the there. The dream, dude. The dream. That's the dream. The one difference, though, <laughs> is that you have to be naked at all times. Yeah, so mm-hmm. she can come home and just have sex with you. Yeah, because she's gonna come home. That and sounds fine to me. Naked. That sounds fine. <laughs> that sounds fine to me. Um. <laughs> Other other than that, though, great show. Um, any anything else you guys want to add? I'm sad it's coming to an end. Um, but I hope for a second season. So yeah, I yeah. doubt it. I, I doubt, doubt it. it but too. I I would <laughs> yeah. I I would definitely. I hope. For it. Hey, I can hope though. You can't kill my dreams. I can't. I, You're right. No, you can't. You I have like no power over me. <laughs> how uh, Haruto's like, hey man, like, yeah, just go out with her. He's like, I have my reason. He's like, I want to know your reasons. <laughs> and like, he's like, no, nope. just do it. Just and he's do like, it, no, bitch. these are my reasons. And then he's like, well, fuck, your reasons like, well, are fuck. way better than mine. <laughs> your reasons are better than mine of just wanting you to finally, like, make Miyako see that yeah. she can't be with you so that I can no, fucking no. swoop right His in. His reasons like, swoop <laughs> down. are so fucked up, dude. His reasons are, <laughs> he is hey, can up. you date Nayu so that you can crush Miyako so I can swoop in and just get on that right Pick there? Up and those it's like, dude, pieces. she doesn't want you. I got the sweeper <laughs> in the, I got this little he's, sweeper he's in the pan right it. here. Just like sweep yeah. that up. He's got it planned out, dude. He's got the plan, dude. He's like, hey, just like I'm going to subtly throw this out there. You, you two should get together. Mm-hmm. You're like great together. Yeah. He's like, bitch. This is the situation. This is set real me up right to be now. A rebound, please. <laughs> can you can you set me up to be a rebound? I'd appreciate it, bro. Yeah, just I want to be a rebound. Just imagine I think- if Haruto and Miyako got together after like a situation like that happened, and then like their kids asking like, "Oh, mommy, daddy, how did you get together?" <laughs> and then Haruto is like, "Well, I had the guy that your mommy liked, kind of break her heart so that I could swoop in and just <laughs> take her for myself." And then the kids are just like, uh... Dad, you're a dick. Mom what? doesn't well, love you. She told us. She still loves then, Uncle Itsuki. <laughs> and, and the thing here, too, is I think Itsuki would be good with Miyako. Like, I yeah. I, I could see him being good with either of them. Um, and they would both bring out certain sides of him that are beneficial. Um, 
where, you know, uh, Naya would be more the artistic side where um, Miyako would be more of like the practical side, I feel like. So I, I could see him going either way. It's, it's it, this this anime is so hard to pick best girl because I like I like Naya, uh, Nayu and uh, Miyako so well. Like they're they're both so good. So it's like, ugh, who do you ship? It's hard. It depends because, like, like you said, the practical side is Miyako because she kind of, they both kind of complete each other in a sense. Yep. Um, yep. like just through the They're story, complimentary. They're complimentary. Mm-hmm. Whereas, mm-hmm. like, Nayu is more like the goal that he strives to <clears throat> be. Like, he wants to be <clears throat> equals. It's um, the type of relationship you are, you as a person strive for. So do you want a relationship relationship that's complementary where you kind of like complete just each complete other. each other? Yeah. Or do you want a relationship where both of you are basically rivals and you're always pushing each other? Right. Like that doesn't mean that a complementary relationship can't push each other, but right. it's not going to push each other in the same way that Na- Nayu and uh, Itsuki would where they're like, and, I'm better, and, I'm better. And you have to make that decision. It's like, what's going to be better for me? And I think mm-hmm. Itsuki's a little naive on both sides. So it'd be kind of hard for him to decide one or the other. <clears throat> but I mean, like I said, I don't, there's an obvious. Yeah. Well, obvious I mean, choice. there's one that's going to obviously win. Yes, that's correct. Yeah. 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 <laughs> the sister. <laughs> she hero. It's obvious guys. She's both. You laugh, but Alec is totally right, though. I mean, I mean, she, <laughs> Ch- Chihiro is great too. They're I gonna, mean, she's, she's gonna a pull, housewife. They're gonna pull. They're gonna pull a one over on you, and then like he finds oh, out God. that oh, his little God. brother is actually his little sister, and he's like, well, and that, sweet, we're Can't not tell, related. Don't we're don't not do related. This to me. <laughs> We're not Can't related. Me, don't, don't, don't <laughs> I, totally, to me. And then he's like, you know what? She can cook. She can clean. She makes sure I get my work done. And, and she goes she's, out she's and in, does She's things. in with my finance and woman. She's a and, and, you know? she's yeah. a, and she's a younger sister. Right? And she's a younger sister. She's yeah, an that's the quality <laughs> that he doesn't see. In, he, he sees the quality of younger sister in Nayu, but she's not a real younger sister. So that's yeah. why every that's now and the again. the deal breaker for him. Every now oh, and again, fuck. when he's like looking at Chihiro, he randomly like blushes. It's they're setting it up now, like it's yeah. If that obviously happens, gonna if that happen. happen. Just get so ready upset. for it. There, I, I'm gonna be so this, fucking this, upset. This, this, just get ready for it, Drew. This is gonna be the same thing that happened I, with, with the <laughs> Hog and I, and, dude. Oh god, they're, they're setting dude, it up honestly, so you think that he goes with Nayu and then he goes with the little sister. Oh god. With this show, I would not be surprised because they set it up as this pure, just weird, freaky comedy <laughs> and then make it super deep. And then I see them doing a complete 180 again and ending up being just brother with his non-blood related sister and being like, all right, there we go. That's the end of the story. And you're like, Jesus, what the fuck Jesus just happened? This thing just mind fucked me. I'm like so the guy starts be, out by so drinking upset. his sister's milk. And then has this like really deep like life shit go on, and then he marries his sister. Like, <laughs> so I'm I'm gonna go out and say this show is a ten for me right now. Like, <laughs> it, it is it is a legit ten for me. But if he ends up with Chihiro, dude, that's dropping it down to like five territory. I I cannot <laughs> deal with that. I cannot deal with that. So let's hope that doesn't happen. Like, the, if the ending episode is oh, tight, dude, dude this so this lit. anime is a ten. But Dude, I kind of want that to happen just to oh. hear your reaction oh my God. when we have to talk oh, about it and just hear oh you freak out for like 10 minutes. <laughs> Alex, you just, say you kind of want it to happen, but you and I know that's what's going to happen. <laughs> oh, yeah. yeah. <laughs> Jesus Christ. I see it coming from a mile away. Please I just want to no. hear the rant. Please, please I hear no. the rant. <laughs> God. He's gonna oh, fucking so throw good. himself off off the Golden Gate Bridge if you oh if you God. do this. The jazz the jazz men are gonna pull me into the painting, and I'm just I'm just yeah. done. He's gonna, gonna be pulled eaten. into Rise's dungeon. <clears throat> oh God. <laughs> oh man. With that said, oh, I'm looking forward to the last episode. Unless that happens, then I'm gonna be really <laughs> upset. But uh, moving on, I, I was kind of surprised. I was expecting the OVA to come out later. But I think we're just going to get two OVAs for MMO Junkie, Recovery of MMO Junkie. We'll get this one, and then we'll get the next one when they go to the Hot Springs. I think that's how they kind of set it up here. Um, but uh, we had our first OVA because the actual show ended at episode 10. So 
technically 11, but OVA number one. Uh, we had uh, Mori Mori Chan and Sakurai uh, building a PC together and a weird dream where um, Mori Mori is sucked into um, the Fruits de Nil uh, MMO and she has to uh, battle to get uh, Sakurai free and Sakurai is like a princess. <clears throat> but uh, it was kind yeah. of a cute like fan fan service episode. I wish we could have gotten more of Mori Mori wearing that bikini armor because the one scene <laughs> that they showed her of that okay hand emoji I am okay with that. Like, I don't even know if it was a scene so much as just a quick cut. And yeah, then it was like, yeah, and gone. <laughs> yeah, it was. I, I was. I was good with that. But uh, I'll throw it out to you guys. What did? What did you think of the little OVA? I mean, in OVA you expect fan service, and we got a little bit of that, but it wasn't like over the top. And I thought I just overall say, it was a good episode. Don't lie. You know that you actually wanted to see the light off of Sakurai, so you could see him in that bikini. Yeah, don't lie. No, <clears throat> no. don't lie. No. <laughs> no! <laughs> Don't let him lie to you. No one is letting him lie. Good. Okay. Um, I mean, what what else did you think about it, though, Alec? I mean, um, that, was, that was really it. I, mean, I thought it was fun. It was fun to watch. It was cool to have it back so quickly, even after. I thought it was going to come, you know, after a little more time, not mm-hmm. the next week. Um and other than that, all the characters were there, which was cool. I loved the little attention to detail that they had where, like, um, what's his name's character? The buff pretty lady comes running at them and then just stops because he was always AFK whenever yeah. they played. Oh, yeah. <coughs> so that was pretty funny. <laughs> was and then, uh, like, when he was the demon king, he was like, come on, get into it. And he's like, oh, marry me. And then the other guy's <laughs> like, save me. So it had, like, really good little just, like, they they – kept you know very well the, like the personalities and the little quirks they had throughout the whole show which i mean shouldn't be hard to do but i'm glad i they think did it. i think and rolando <clears throat> some of you agree or disagree with this i just wanted a little bit more of romantic development when um sakurai is putting together the computer and installing all the programs and then he trips over the chair and like lands over her I would have liked like a little bit more romantic development out of that mm-hmm. scene, but instead we get like gypsies coming to the door and asking if <laughs> she she believes in like Jesus or some bullshit. She <laughs> believes um, no, in the best part about that <laughs> that part though was as soon as he <clears throat> happens to fall on on top of her like that is the first thing Moriko thinks is I'm so happy I made my bed. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, that was the best. That was funny. <laughs> I like. I I thought that was a great scene, but I just I, I just want a little bit more romantic development. Um, Buddy, this is yeah. a um, this is an anime. It's, a not, wholesome, hentai. A wholesome, yeah, I, it's not hentai. Uh, I not hentai. I know sure. what you. I know what you mean, but I kind of expect that to happen, especially yeah, because it's yeah. an OVA. That they're not going to actually, you know, give romantic development too much. Right. But I still, like, enjoyed it. There was a lot of... It was just, like, the kind of episode that you watch it and then it's just... It entertains you a lot because you're laughing and you're yeah. just, like, kind of like, oh, like, yeah, that's that's kind of cute. Or, like, oh, that's pretty funny or that kind you feel, of thing. You feel good about the show. Like, yeah, it's a feel-good episode. Yeah. So. Yeah. 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 Yeah, yeah, yeah. I think that was pretty much all there was to it for me too. Yeah, yeah. Um, Good. So though. other than that, I, I I hope the second OVA comes this week so we can see them go to the hot springs because that'll be that'll be definitely interesting. But uh, we'll that'll see. be a very we'll fan service episode. Oh, for yeah. sure. Oh, for <clears throat> sure. Hundred percent. Because you you know yeah. like I I don't know if this will happen, but like some of some of the characters that they've met in the show will end up being there or something, and then boobs and fog and steam and all that stuff so yeah i think what work. steam steam the god what? rays Ooh. the god rays are gonna appear <laughs> you, you have know, to buy yeah. the blue rays for you to see only steam there won't yep. be any any light rays <laughs> the god rays <laughs> good deal good deal um Let's move on. Uh, any any news going on today? I wanted to talk about the Catherine remake. Um, so the director of Persona 5 is heading up a project to remake Catherine. 
which was another Atlas project. Um, so they're making Catherine, but the last E in Catherine is a three because there's oh, going to be lit. three Catherines now. Oh, <laughs> um, what happened is... to Catherine too? <laughs> <laughs> there's no Catherine too. They're just three <laughs> Catherines now. I'm oh, hoping like, it's childhood like the iPhone. friend Catherine. <laughs> they're like Windows and Apple. They just skip nine. Yeah, just go straight yeah. to ten. <laughs> I'm, yeah. I'm hoping I'm hoping it's childhood friend Catherine, and then she can claw claw out some eyes uh, of the other two Catherine bitches. But if you haven't played the original Catherine, I highly recommend it. Uh, Rolando, have you, have you played it or Alec? No, I have, I have not. not. I've so watched play oh, it. someone play it. You, you, if if you haven't played it, get like play that game. The game is fucking tight. Well, I'm gonna um, wait. Good adult. Yeah, yeah, I, I agree. Um, but like, you know, good adult commentary on adult relationships. Um, a little bit of fan service in there, but overall, great story, uh, multiple endings, and the kind of quality that you expect uh, from Atlas. So, I highly, highly recommend this uh, this game. So. From Altus, this, this is how they this is how they let the Atlas fans buy their time before uh, yep. Project Re Fantasy and SMT Five. <laughs> yes. Yep. That's basically they're like, hey, th- all of those are gonna come out in like four years, four years. from now. <laughs> yeah, but you can have Persona this game 6? in two years. We'll remake this game that you all like, which will take us no time. <laughs> Persona Seven? No, there's not no, gonna that's... be Persona for a while. Yeah, I'm gonna. I'm, I would At say like seven years. The, yeah, don't. I wouldn't hold my breath to see another Persona for another five or six years. They should skip everything and go straight to Persona 9 to they break will. the meme. They're going to break they, the they, meme. Like, Atlas is the like the biggest meme company ever out of Japan. They like they would do something like that. Like, hey, Dude. we're Persona 9 now. You know, cool. On the PS9. Six yeah. through eight. Because that's how long <laughs> it's going to take for it to come out. Yeah. yeah. <laughs> um, <clears throat> Any, any other news you guys kind of wanted to add or anything you think of? Um, I mean, kind of related, but it's not recent news. But last month they did announce um, that Valkyria Chronicles 4 is coming out in early 2018 for Japan and then to be announced for, uh, mm-hmm. for the West. But I'm actually surprised <clears throat> that Sega is going back to bringing a main line title in that series to consoles. So it's going to be PS4, Switch, and Xbox One, which mm-hmm. for me is very surprising that they're doing that because it almost looked like they were never going to make another main line title, title in that game, or that series, I mean. Mm-hmm. So I'm excited for that. Uh, the only news I have is uh, if you follow Ancient Majesty's Bride, if you read it, the volume eight comes out in February. So that's actually pretty soon, just a month away. Um, so, yeah, I just found out the date because I was looking it up. And uh, yeah, February 27th. Cool. Yeah. Right on. Pretty neato. Uh, with that said, guys, as always, check us out on uh, our WordPress, animeondraft.wordpress.com. Twitter at Anime on Draft, and uh, also be sure just to check the SoundCloud and iTunes first. Um, just search for Anime on Draft. Uh, that's always where it's going to come out uh, before everything else. So just keep an eye on those. Um, but with that said, check out the Warsteiner Pilsner. Um, you know, as we recommended today, an excellent beer. Um, as I burp. Ugh. With that said, uh, you guys have uh, you guys have anything else to add before we uh, sign out? Disgusting. Thanks Disgusting. for all the support, guys. <laughs> yeah. Yes. Disgusting. Disgusting. <laughs> <laughs> and uh, have a have a happy holidays wherever you are um, celebrating whatever like holiday that. you celebrate. <laughs> exactly, and uh, we should we should be um, still continuing through the holidays. So. Um, Take a look at that. But uh, with that said, this has been your host, uh, Dreyfus, I guess is my name. Dreyfus. Yes. Um, so Dreyfus. that's me, Roland Dad, and uh, Alico signing out for episode 34. We will catch you later. Bye. Meep. Meep. Quack. <laughs>